Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel um, and welcome back to the the Phantom Menace 25 celebration event we're into chapter 7 which is the pod race itself the Boon to Eve classic So just getting ready to start the race. Start, good start. Stayed in second place. Holding second, chasing down Sebulba for the lead. I'm just going to follow him, stay on his path. It's not always the same one either, he does... I've done this race a couple of times and he can choose a different road, a different route each time. So just staying with Sebulba. Yeah, just see how this plays out. Um, got three laps and going for the overtake. Sebulba playing dirty. Sebulba uh, uh, playing dirty. Um, not giving up that position, but I'm through. Now just got to stay in front. It's obviously not going to play out exactly the same way as it does in the Phantom Menace. But this is a key point in the film. So I figured I'd um, get it into the playlist, get it into the story. I was debating actually whether to do this one on this game, which is episode one, Racer, or to use the Lego version from Skywalker Saga. But I wanted a bit of variety, because there's a lot, there's quite a few levels in this event. Um, from the Skywalker Saga well, mainly because it picks on a lot of the key points in the story um, that the other games don't the f the, there's bits in there that the Phantom Menace that the actual the video game itself doesn't um, cover same with Lego Star Wars the complete saga there's parts of that that it doesn't cover so I figured I'd use and because obviously the game is based around that see that uh, sequence from episode one, it's it's titled Episode One Racer, so I figured I'd just use um, this game to tell this part of the story. So there's not much not much happening. Broken away from Saboba, but he's still a looming threat. So I need to be careful. I don't smash into a wall or something because. He'll probably get through. Um, and I obviously want to win the race purely because Anakin wins the race in the film. Um, so as much as I'd love to change and swap positions with Sebulba for the next two laps. Um, I'm just going to stay in front as far as I can. So while there's not much happening here, just going to cover what's happening in the uh, the world of Star Wars at the moment. Uh, it's been quite a good year for the. It's well, yeah, it's quite a good year to be a Star Wars fan actually because with we've, we've had quite a few game releases. We've got a couple upcoming. Not just new games, um, classics, classic games, mixing with remasters, and then we've got the upcoming games as well. So we, we had the the Phantom Menace video game release on PS Plus in January, and then at the end of February we had um, the Dark Forces remaster, and then two weeks after that, March 14th, I think it was, we had the Battlefront Classic Collection. 
that came out. Um, April, we had Rebel Assault 2 hit PS Plus. Um, we've got this month, which is the month of Star Wars. So we've got um, Episode 1 is back in the cinema. As of yesterday, um, just for this weekend, just to celebrate the 25th anniversary. Um, so I'm going along to that later on, um, taking my kids to see it. Uh, I saw it when I was 8 years old, again 25 years ago. I saw it when I was 8 years old. So my, I'm taking my oldest and my middle child to go see it, she's 6. So it's almost, um, almost history repeating itself. But I'm excited to watch it with them. Um, what else have we got going on in May? We've got the oh the Tales of the Empire Disney Plus series that got that's that's on today. That's gone live today. As we cr as I crash into a a sand crawler, um, that comes off the back of the the Bad Batch um, season finale, which was a good it was a good finale. If you haven't seen it yet, go watch it. It's good. Um, So yeah, there's the Tales of the Empire Disney Plus series. Uh, what else have we got in May? I think that may be it for May. Uh, and then next month we've got Star Wars Hunters is coming out on Android, iOS and Nintendo Switch. So hopefully I can get some, um, some gameplay for that for you get a little series going on that it's it's I'm looking forward to that it's been four they, they announced it four years ago um, and it's made by Zynga who primarily make mobile games um, so it's their first sort of console game kinda wish it was coming out on Xbox as well and PS4 but I, I have a switch so it's not a problem um, so that I'm looking for, yeah, I'm looking forward to that because it's a sports game. It's an arena game, um, and it's taken a lot of influence from pro wrestling. So it's going to be interesting to see how that works. Because other than this game, Racer, the only other sporty type game we've had is Demolition, um, which was another PS1 game, and that was an arena game where you took on, you chose a character, and they had different. Um, abilities, different vehicles, and it was like a almost like a destruction derby sort of thing. So other than that, other than those two, we haven't had many Star Wars sports games. So that's going to be interesting. We've also got that's on June the fourth, and then the day after, we've got the Acolyte Disney Plus series, which t is set at the end of the High Republic era. So it's the first time we'll get to see. The High Republic era in live action, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, and then that's just the first six months of 2024. We're not even halfway through yet, and we've had a really a Star Wars release um, every month for the first six months. So um it's yeah it's a good year to be a fan and then we've got outlaws coming out at the end of august so i'm definitely looking forward to that and i'll definitely be, have i'll definitely have plenty of gameplay for that it's ubisoft's first journey into the star wars universe and it looks like it's going to be an absolute stunner um above and beyond anything ea have ever achieved even though my favorite ea titles are the Jedi games, Jedi Fallen Order and Survivor. Um, Outlaws looks like it's above and beyond any of those and pretty much the game that Skull and Bones should have been. Uh, the, the sort of quadruple A title Skull and Bones should have been. Coming into the final stretch now. And Anakin crosses the line to win. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next episode. 
for chapter 8.